As effective as it can be, anaerobic digestion is limited in the case of dairy sludge, due to the high content of fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. Therefore, coupling it with thermochemical processes such as hydrothermal carbonization, can increase the total net energy by avoiding the energy consumption in the phase change, while enhancing the overall efficiency of anaerobic digestion. A team of researchers from Hungary has dedicated their paper, entitled, Coupling Hydrothermal Carbonization with Anaerobic Digestion, an evaluation based on energy recovery and hydrochar utilization, to evaluate such a coupling strategy. The first approach was executed by performing hydrothermal carbonization under a range of temperatures before mesophilic anaerobic digestion. Hydrothermal pretreatment significantly increased methane yield potential, chemical oxygen demand removal, and sludge biodegradability during anaerobic digestion. On the other hand, the application of hydrothermal carbonization after anaerobic digestion increased the total energy production through producing energy-rich hydrochar in addition to methane. Moreover, hydrothermal carbonization post-treatment of the anaerobic digestion digestate led to improved steam gasification performance. From the fertilizer quality point of view, hydrothermal carbonization generally boosted the concentrations of macro, micro, and secondary nutrients in the aqueous phase, suggesting its suitability for use as a liquid fertilizer. Overall, the findings of this study indicate that if bioenergy production were the main target, hydrothermal carbonization following anaerobic digestion would lead to the most promising outcomes. This paper was published in the September 2021 issue of Biofuel Research Journal, and we would like to invite you to read the full article for free on the journal's website at www.biofueljournal.com.